Hi, I'm Brian Ierson, and I am one of the instructors at the Computer Workshop. For today's tutorial, we're going to look at the Count A formula inside of Excel. This formula will be used to determine if you have an empty cell and will return either a 1 or a 0. So this is going to be a very useful tool when you have to check and see that you have all of your required data. So we have a spreadsheet here and we're zoomed in. We're going to create that formula over here in column L to check to see if we have any missing countries here in column B. Now you could do this for each and every column to see if you have information that happens to be missing and then run your sort to help you clean up and figure out where your data needs to be filled in. Now I'm going to begin by selecting cell L2 and I'm going to zoom in so that this becomes very easy to see. Our formula is really rather simple. We're going to begin with an equal, count, and I'm going to down arrow to select the count A function from the list of available functions and use the tab key to apply the selected function. That will enter in my count function, or my count A function, I should say, and also put in my open parentheses and put me to the point where I'm ready to begin adding in the arguments for this formula. Now in this case I'm only going to go ahead and check to see if there is a value in cell B2 which is the first cell that has information in the country column. I will simply enter in B2 and that is the end of the formula. So I can use a control enter to apply the formula. Now you'll notice that my formatting here is set to currency so I am going to switch that very quickly by coming back up to my number formatting group and clicking into the number format field and I am just simply going to go ahead and choose general and that will give me a value of 1 which indicates that there is in fact content in that cell. With that now completed, I'm going to double click the autofill and let this run all the way down this column. After I have completed running the formula, I'm going to click into the very first cell in this column that has a value. Here again, the value 1 indicates that there is the presence of data in cell B2. A value of 0 would indicate that that cell is in fact empty. At this point though, we still have the problem that we have to search through our document in order to find the missing information or find where the information is missing. So here's where we now take the results of our count A formula and sort the data based on those results. We do this by simply right-clicking on the first cell that has a value or actually any cell in this column that has a value, locating the sort option in the contextual menu and choosing to sort this smallest to largest. Now we have all the zeros indicating we have missing countries in the country column and these are the records that we need to address. Zooming out on this and over we will see that that is in fact the case. So if I have a value here of zero indicating that I have a missing field of information in my record. Well, I hope that this little tutorial will prove helpful to you in the future. If you liked what you learned today, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. But for now, until next time, take care.